I want to share with the, the House, I had an opportunity last year, as well as several of my colleagues from other parties, uh, to attend a, um, a meeting with representatives of the NCRI and talked about democracy and their quest for freedom for the Iranian people. For over 40 years, NCRI has been standing and protesting against this brutal regime. And their dream, and the dream of most Iranians, is to have a free and democratic secular Iran. That's what people want. That's what NCRI wants. That's what the United States wants. They recently, uh, I believe two weeks ago, Congress passed Motion 100, and it was uh, endorsed by hundreds of congressmen and senators. Uh, supporting the 10-point plan put forward by NCRI. But again, the goal is to have a free and democratic Iran. That's what we all want to see, and an end to the brutality. You know, we're so fortunate to live in this wonderful country of ours and to have the freedom uh, that we have to come and go as we please, to say the things that we need to be said, our freedom of speech, freedom of dress, all of the things that we take for granted that's what the Iranian people are fighting for now. And I think it's critically important that we together, as parliamentarians of all stripes, continue to be their voice, to continue to keep that pressure uh, on them so that ultimately there will be many parties to choose from, whether it's NCRI or others that get together. Uh, it'll be up to the Iranian people that don't want to have a dictatorship. They want freedom like we have. And I hear that word so many times. The Iranian people want what we have, that freedom of choice, freedom to vote for who you want to do. We stand in solidarity with the people of Iran in their desire for a secular and democratic republic in which no individual, regardless of religious beliefs or birthright, has any privileges over others. Through their slogans that we've heard many nights on the uh, nightly news, the Iranian people have made it clear that they reject all forms of dictatorship, be it the form of the deposed Shah or the current theocratic regime, and thus reject any association with any of the others. The goal here, I think, for all of us is to see a free and democratic Iran.